Congratulations on becoming the new proud owner of a solo wheel, the newest form of human transportation. Before you take your first solo wheel ride, there are a few things that you'll need to know and remember. Remember what it was like the first time that you rode a bicycle? Learning to balance wasn't easy, and it seemed like you'd never succeed. Then, one day, everything clicked and your body just knew what to do. After that, you never forgot how to properly balance when sitting on a bicycle, and the solo wheel is very similar, although much easier to learn. When you first step onto the solo wheel, it may seem unstable, and you may have a difficult time getting your body to grasp the balance needed to stay upright. But this first stage passes quickly. Stick with it, and you'll be riding like a pro faster than you think. As with any motorized device, you should always wear proper safety equipment when riding your solo wheel. A helmet and pads are appropriate, as well as shin and wrist guards while learning. When you turn on your solo wheel, you will see that it stands itself up, but you still need to hold it in place. The solo wheel uses an internal gyro to maintain balance forward and back, but just like a bicycle, you'll need to keep balance side to side. Think of the way that you normally stand on the ground. Your body is already stable left and right because your legs are under you, but you must maintain balance yourself forward and back. Nothing holds you, but you can keep yourself straight. When you sit on a bicycle, your balance is shifted, and you use the same balance mechanic to keep yourself up even though it's the opposite of what you're doing when you stand. This is the same balance that you're training your body to use on the solo wheel. Be sure that you do not turn the solo wheel on while it's off the ground, or else it will cause the tire to spin. You will simply need to turn the solo wheel off, place it on the ground, and reset. The light on the top of the solo wheel indicates whether the solo wheel is on or off, whether the battery is low, and whether the solo wheel is upright. A flashing red light will let you know that the solo wheel feels it's off balance and it shut off the motor. This occurs when the solo wheel is tilted or has fallen over. Pick up the solo wheel and reset it by turning it off and back on again. A green light indicates that everything is good with the solo wheel. It's upright, fully charged and ready to go. As the battery runs down, the light will change from green to yellow. At this time, it's best to find a good place to stop and charge your solo wheel, although you will have more time. A red light indicates that the battery is almost dead. Your current solo wheel journey is about to end, so go ahead and pull to the side to charge. If the light is red and you feel a vibration from the wheel, the battery is nearly fully drained and the solo wheel is about to shut off. Immediately stop the solo wheel and do not continue to ride until it is once again fully charged.